Hello there, beautiful souls. Are you ready for a quick mood boost? Today, I'm bringing you a lovely self-havening exercise that can effectively regulate your nervous system, help you feel more relaxed and calm in your body, and boost your mood in only about 10 minutes. I love this exercise so much because not only will you feel better after doing it, but it's doing some seriously important work deep in your nervous system. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Learning to regulate your nervous system is the ultimate happiness hack. Without us even realizing it, our nervous system state massively affects every aspect of our well-being, from our energy levels and motivations, to our immune, digestive, and endocrine systems, to our perceptions, moods, and emotional reactions. So if you want to pave the way to a more harmonious, happy, and grounded life, nervous system regulation is foundationally important. We just can't be our best selves when we're consistently dysregulated. So this mood boosting exercise is beneficial in many ways. And one of those ways is because of its regulating effect on deep parts of your nervous system. And in addition to that, havening has been shown to increase the happiness chemicals, dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin in our brains. So this quick exercise is doing some heavy lifting for your mood on multiple different levels. By the way, if you don't know what havening is or how to do it, no worries. I'm going to walk you through it step by step during the exercise. And if you want to learn more, I'll link a great explanation video in the show notes. Welcome to Somatic Healing Meditations, the podcast that helps you regulate your nervous system, deepen your healing journey, and feel better in your body. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm Karenna with Hello Inner Light, and I'm a trauma-informed emotional healing coach who's here to help you heal the old emotional wounds, subconscious blocks, and self-sabotaging core beliefs that are holding you back from living a life of authenticity and joy. So if that's the kind of content that you need more of in your life, please subscribe to this podcast and join me every Friday on this beautiful journey out of your head and into your more embodied and authentic self. Now let's try this havening exercise for a quick mood boost. So we're going to do havening touch for the entirety of this exercise, because again, it has that regulating quality and it boosts those happiness chemicals in our brain. And there are three ways to do havening touch. One way is simply to rub your palms together. You can just rub your palms together at a pace and with a pressure that feels good and soothing to you. That's one way to do the havening touch. Another way is to rub down your arms from shoulder to elbow, shoulder to elbow, just going down. And the third way to do havening touch is to rub anywhere on your face, cheeks, or forehead. So for this entire exercise, you're going to be doing some havening touch, either on your palms, your upper arms, or your face, cheeks, and forehead. And you can just intuitively move between those three different types of touch in whatever way feels good to you. This is meant to be soothing. So if one of those ways of touch feels better for you, you can hang out there longer. If one of them doesn't feel good to you, just skip over it. If for any reason, like you have arthritis or anything like that going on with your hands, just modify this touch in whatever way feels good to you to make it accessible to you. So doing the havening touch, begin this exercise with your eyes open. And with your eyes open, just look around your environment. You can slowly and gently move your head, eyes, and neck as you just begin to visually take in all of the details, all of the things you can see around you. And see if you can find four shades of red. Looking around, find three shades of green. Looking around, notice something shiny. And 
and find something that looks bumpy. And interestingly, whenever you look at any texture, you can imagine with total accuracy what it would be like to run your fingers across it. So imagining what that would feel like to touch that texture, that bumpy thing. Continuing to do the havening touch and now allow your eyes to close. And with your eyes closed, just notice all of the layers of sound that you can hear. So you can hear my voice and the music. You may be able to hear the havening touch because it has a little bit of a sound. And there may be other things you can hear as well, like a fan or traffic in the distance or people or animals. And just listening to the quietest sound. Now really begin to focus on feeling the havening touch. So you can feel the gentle pressure of the touch. You can feel the temperature of your skin the texture of your skin. You can feel the gentle muscular engagement that you use as you're doing the havening touch. And notice that you can feel your body resting in the chair or the bed or the floor, wherever you are. Notice which parts of your body are making contact with the chair or the bed. And notice what that contact feels like. Is it soft or hard? Bumpy or smooth? Is your body making symmetrical or asymmetrical contact with it? Just really feeling that and continuing to do the havening touch. And now just feel your breath. So you can feel the air moving in and out through your nostrils. And you can feel the air causing your chest and tummy to rise and fall. And as you're doing the havening touch and feeling your breath, with your imagination, you're going to call forward a happy memory. It can be a happy memory of literally anything. Just letting a happy memory come forward for you. And bring that happy memory into your imagination more and more with all of your senses. So, for example, one of my happiest memories is snorkeling in Maui. And when I bring that to my imagination with all of my senses, I can remember what it felt like to have the water touching my skin. I can remember what it felt like as the waves bobbed me up and down and as I felt buoyant in the water. I can remember the fish and the coral and the sea turtles that I saw. I can even remember the texture of that chewy rubber thing that you put in your mouth when snorkeling and the taste of the salt water. I can remember what it felt like to gently kick my legs and propel myself forward with those flippers on, moving through the water quickly and with ease. So 
So whatever your memory is, bring back the sights, the colors, the sounds. If you were there with other people or animals, maybe remember the look in their eyes or how close they were standing to you. If you were moving, remember what the movement felt like in your muscles, in your body. Just remembering any details that you can recall. And as you remember this happy memory, notice how you feel emotionally in your body right now. How does it feel to remember this memory? What do you feel in your heart? What descriptive words could you use to describe this feeling within you? Continuing to do the havening touch. Notice what your posture is like as you remember this happy memory. What is your breath like? Just noticing whatever you're feeling. Knowing that as you bring these feelings back into your body, because you're remembering this happy memory, that this is resourcing to your nervous system On a body level, you're remembering what that happiness felt like. And of course, at the same time, the havening touch is taking this experience even deeper by regulating your nervous system and stimulating the boost of serotonin, oxytocin, and dopamine in your brain. And just take a few more breaths here, really enjoying this feeling. Really letting your body notice that you're feeling this good. Like every cell in your body gets a little reminder of this happy feeling. And as your body feels it, it becomes part of you more and more. Taking one more nice breath here. And when you're ready, just gently allow your eyes to open. Look again for the bumpy thing and the shiny thing and the reds and the greens. And just notice how you feel now. Do you feel more relaxed? connected? Do you feel like you had a little boost in your mood? Let me know what your experience was in that exercise in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this exercise, please subscribe to and rate and review my podcast. And remember to join me every Friday on this beautiful journey out of your head and into your more embodied and authentic self. Thank you so much for joining me.